So where are we going in 2021? Uh, we have another Developer Academy coming up between March, April, and May of this year. Um, it is going to be again fully online and again split into two parts. We have a little bit more of a formal um, uh, structure for this, this um, academy. It's related to or inspired by the one we piloted last year. Um, now we're uh, extending it a little bit more. Uh, and we're also going to be expanding it to two different tracks. So we have both the web track for development of applications on the, uh, on, on the web uh, in a browser, uh, as well as an Android track for uh, development of custom Android applications based on the Android SDK uh, and how to extend DHS2 in that way. Um, those will be taking place at the same time. There will be some sessions between those two work uh, tracks that are shared, um, but the developers will split off into people that are working on web applications and people that are working on Android applications. We have a number of high level goals for 2021 and beyond as well uh, for these initiatives. Um, I, I highlighted three of them here, but mainly they are to strengthen the, the developer community. I mentioned this already and Deborah will expand on it in just a minute. Um, but the idea is that we want to have shorter communication gaps between the core team that's developing tools and developing DHS2 core uh, and people that are uh, really stretching the limits of that platform and wanting to extend it and, and uh, tailor it for their specific use cases. Um, so building that community, allowing people to share resources amongst themselves, share uh, success stories and challenges that are encountered as people are developing applications uh, throughout the ecosystem. Uh, and in doing that um, development of community for developers of DHIS2 applications, uh, we also hope to continue to support local innovation. So that's not only uh, developing a community, um, fostering communication and uh, some feedback from that community to see how we can improve our developer tooling, but also to work directly with some of those innovations to inc uh, increase the, the, the effectiveness of DHS2 in particular, particularly important use cases. So things like COVID-19 vaccination uh, and other uh, local innovation uh, hotspots. Um, so with that, again, talking about um, how you can help, how we can uh, continue to, to increase the collaboration between the core team and the, the broader community. Um, if you have local innovations that you're working on, whether or not they're on the DHS2 application platform, I encourage you to uh, reach out to the core team, to myself, to any of the other people on this call, and uh, share, share what you're working on so that we can see how we can better help you and maybe how we can make connections with other people in the community that are working on similar things so that we can uh, all improve together. Um, and that brings us to the third point here, which is to grow the ecosystem of generic DHIS2 applications. We have an application hub where there are a number of applications um, ongoing that are or published that can be installed into any DHS2 uh, instance. Uh, and we're making some significant overhauls and, and improvements to the, the interface and the infrastructure for the app hub uh, and how those apps are distributed to DHS2 instances um, in order to facilitate uh, more sharing of high quality applications, being able to determine the, the, the maintenance structure or the, the sustainability of applications that are on that app hub um, and be able to test them across more, uh, larger numbers of DHS2 instances so that we can have a, a, a growing library and ecosystem of community developed applications for DHS2 in many different instances. <clears throat> 